to that line. Uh, the theme actually of this presentation is to present how we would enable smart cities using IoT technologies uh, based on some plans that we are doing and some researches also that we are planning for next year and going forward. And here I'm going to talk first of all about uh, this is the history, how cities have been evolving since it's since long time evolving. Then we will talk about industry four and how it's enabling smart cities. Uh, we will talk about some apparatus and assistance initiatives, how we do and our plans for the future. Uh, we will have, because it's a matter of value creation, how we create value. And also, um, there are some steps that we will take, and later on, we will continue. This is an old city, actually. It's uh, Vienna, uh, it's uh, Sydney. So Sydney, actually, this is in 1932, as you see. Uh, there comes out of changes, like transportation, yes, we have electricity, we have elevators. Then we have, this is Sydney in 2007. Uh, similarly, this is Abu Dhabi, and this is Abu Dhabi again. So as you see, there has been a lot of transformation along the history, actually, and especially in the last century. Uh, currently, what is coming down, actually, is we are having uh, this kind of plans, actually, and we are trying to make it like smart cities. This is, uh, will be our plans. So in our what we are doing, usually, uh, we have this kind of land. We are developing this land. It's big land. It's trans it's coming like this. We got uh, the initial stages for uh, electricity, street lighting, uh, uh, with the purpose that we are doing. And then after that, it will be a developed land so that we will start selling this land. This is the traditional model actually that we are uh, doing. In here, actually, we have some activities. We have uh, offer management from the land. We have development. We have uh, property management. We have the master plan here with the purpose of uh, all the purpose here in Eden. So after that, we will get uh, this land. Uh, we are doing also in compounds, we are doing a lot of extra activities. Um, now in, in currently, actually, what we are doing, we have a kind of silos. These silos, if the department will do something, and in, in this story, actually, we will uh, introduce what we have, and so that we have the land to develop land. Sometimes we build compounds, sometimes we build other things. So that's what we are doing. And here, this is one side actually of this. This is the engineering department, for example, what they are doing, how they coordinate the value of consultants with uh, representative from government, how they review the terms and conditions, uh, how they coordinate with internal and external members. Because usually, for a real estate developer, we are moving into silos. We have every department doing something uh, different. And then we are complementing each other. This model actually will be now, and in, in this actually industry board, it will be changed because we have to focus on the value, how we produce value and how we make value for the end user. Because uh, the smart cities is about sensation, it's about how we make the, our cities more human actually. And uh, as you see, usually we tell actually that the industry 4 or IoT or all these technologies are trying to blur the lines between physical and digital. So it's, we have another era actually, because in the first era we have a kind of uh, physical alone and logical alone and something like this. So we are now trying to get this side out. We are trying also to get multiple components. Instead of have complicated solutions, one thing actually will do everything. So we will have now orchestrated solution that, for example, the smart city actually, you will have multiple contractors, you will have multiple operators who are trying to uh, generate the value. In here, this is the, like the quick wins actually that we are starting because every case or every industry, every technology that is coming, you have to generate the value out of it because it's a business value. We are not implementing technology for technology. So these are kind, these are kind of quick wins that we are trying to plan for next year. After that, we will start in the full smart city journey. So in here, we have a kind of asset tracking because we have multiple machines and these machinery are located in different rural areas in different cities. So we have to track these assets. IoT will help us much more actually to track these assets effectively and to track the people who are working with, uh, the working hours, and all this kind of stuff. Then we have IoT cameras actually. This, uh, these actually places, because some of them are far away from the city, some of them are here or there. So we have to monitor most of these sites. Usually we have people who are going here and there so that they are collecting data, so they are seeing what, ha what is happening for this uh, location. But now actually we have, with, with the IoT, 
and smart cameras. We are trying now to have a solution that will enable us to monitor all our lands uh, in some part. And actually here, for example, for the cameras, we have some kind of security issues usually, but the IoT layer will enable you to provide more data and to analyze this data so that instead of uh, have a huge traffic and some security concerns, this can be eliminated by the IoT layer behind the camera. Also, we have smart lighting because you know it's actually lighting is like taking around 20% of the electricity generated in every city. So that the smart lighting actually will have it will be more secure. Uh, it will enable the cameras to work better. It will enable the, the light to illuminate or dim based on the traffic or based on the uh, well, you know, any events or anything is accidents coming there. So that's why we are trying to implement uh, very soon. We have RFID and IoT. In here, actually, uh, usually, you know, actually, we put in on the land, the corners, there is a kind of dimension that we, is done for surveying, to collect this information, to, to generate this information, and also to make the boundaries uh, clear for the, uh, for people who are trying to have this uh, land acquired, acquired, have acquired this land. So actually, this sometimes you have due to uh, sand, due to a lot of environmental factors, these corners will not be uh, clear. So by using RFID technology and IoT, it will be clear, it will be generating more data, so you can analyze this data, you can get uh, a lot of benefits from it. Here, for example, this is asset tracking. Uh, this is one sample of what we are doing. Asset tracking, it will, it will reduce the time, it will enhance the location of the assets, we know our assets where they are, we it can even make a kind of protection for our environment from stolen, from theft, because we can track them better. And also, it will generate a lot of data that we can use for lesson plans, for different uh, uh, stories later on, or for different projects. Here, an example, for example, this is RFID and IoT, how it's used instead of the bitters, what you, uh, what you use usually on the corners. This is a kind of different technology. It's used also for big lands, for small lands, for different uh, regions. And our future plan actually is to come to smart city. Maybe smart city still, we are planning it, but we are trying the initial, the first, the, some initiatives, and then we will go into smart cities. Smart cities actually have, it's, there is a lot of smart cities today in the world. For example, Singapore is number one, Africa is number two. This is a 2019 uh, survey. So uh, it's coming actually. Some, some of them are partial, we have defined a kind of smart city. Uh, but some of them are coming, some of them are not, are, yeah, not mature enough, but it's coming actually, and it's the trend, because we are thinking of people to have, uh, to, to have more human cities actually, to have more value out of these cities. So it's coming here. What actually will be Internet of Things, as my colleague actually said, it will allow you a lot of benefits. I'm not going to them, but actually it's, we are trying to uh, make our cities more valuable for customers and because it's a matter of connectivity, how we move, how we go forward. This is a kind of smart city. Smart city is a sustainable city in which actually innovative city based on communication and technology and create very value for people. So this is a kind of, uh, for smart cities sometimes we have a kind of, uh, some standards that's coming in because it's there, it's maturing, but still not fully mature. Here is how we think of generating value for smart cities. Uh, first of all, we have a lot of challenges and all opportunities uh, because usually, as I said, actually, technology is not implemented for itself. Technology, technology is implemented because it will generate value. So we have challenges, we have opportunities. We will start there, actually, uh, study our challenges and opportunities, go and find the, re the relative technology, and IoT is one of the most relative te technologies for us. Then after that, we will have um, the digital use case, we will then how we utilize this technology, how it will generate value, and we will start later on with the business case. So we will add risk items, the, the financial costs, and how we will benefit from it. Um, this is actually, we are trying to create value. And here, for example, this is IoT use case that we are trying to implement. We have a kind of smart water, uh, public lighting, smart building, environment protection, safety and smart energy, smart mobility. Uh, and here, for example, for smart mobility, we are looking for smart parking, how we will find a parking space and how we utilize it after and uh, during working hours. Uh, we have different initiatives for smart world water, as my colleague said, actually. We have smart meters, so we can detect. Uh, for public lighting, we have 
Also, it's very important because it's consuming a lot of um, energy. Uh, here we have smart buildings, how to build, how to construct, what are tools we are using. Uh, it will be used for landscaping and for everything. Smart mobility, as we said, uh, we have safety. Uh, for example, for, uh, to, to reduce um, fire hazards, actually, you can put some kind of sensors that will enable us to detect that temperature and something like that. Uh, also, we have to, to have something regarding environment protection. So this is actually, and that's what all from my side. Okay. Thank you.